you can see I call it a turbo wastegate week here at Mercedes Source. I've got a bunch of these old Garrett T3 turbo uh, turbine housings and wastegate assemblies out on the bench. The reason I'm doing this is we're getting quite a few requests for some of these parts and a lot of these parts are not available new any longer. So if you've got if you've got housing, a turbine housing problems, and I'll show you in a second what they can be, or if you have uh, wastegate issues, you know, you're, you're going to have to sometimes look for good use parts. So this is another good resource that we can offer our customers. We do have uh, a lot of these parts available on our website. So, but I thought I'd just kind of give you a brief overview. Uh, this won't be an in-depth video, but give you a brief overview of, of you know, how the wastegate uh, works and what, the, what some of the problems can be with it. Here you can see a close-up of the turbine housing. The turbine wheel uh, fits right in here and the hot exhaust gases from the engine enter here and spin the wheel, okay? But notice this, there's a problem with this. Look at these two broken off bolts. This is very common on these as they age, these bolts get rusted in. And it's very difficult. If these are severely rusted, it's very difficult to tap these out and get the threads correct on them. So sometimes if you do break off one or more of these bolts when you're removing uh, the tur turbine center section, I recommend you get a replacement housing. In the end, it'll probably be less expense and less effort than trying to, trying to get these broken bolts out. Um, the other thing is, uh, the, you, you'll see this is the wastegate assembly right here. And some problems you'll see with these is you'll, you'll see a lot of these diesels leaking oil out of here. When I pull this cover off here, look at the amount of oil in there. And uh, people will wonder, well, how can, there, how can there be so much oil in there? Is it leaking out of the turbo or is it uh, uh, coming from somewhere else? We'll go over that. I'm not going to go over that in this video, but we'll go over that in, in a, a different video talking about uh, issues related to excess oil in that wastegate assembly. So those are a couple problems you can have. This oil can actually get in here and rot out the diaphragm. And now we're going to take a little bit closer look at the wastegate itself on this housing. Um, okay, we'll put it right there. This is the hose. This is the hose that comes from the compressor housing, which sits up higher. And the purpose of the wastegate right here is to prevent overboosting the, the engine, intake pressure overboost. So if, if there's too much pressure building up in the intake manifold, pressure will come down this hose and enter this chamber right here. See this? It'll enter this chamber. And I'm going to open this up so you can see it. And inside the chamber is a diaphragm. And uh, it's a spring-loaded diaphragm. And the pressure will push here. And when it pushes on the diaphragm, guess what it does? Right over here. See that? It opens this valve right here opens the valve so exhaust gases coming out of the engine will then divert and go right out the exhaust pipe and they won't pressurize, pressurize the turbine wheel. So that'll reduce the boost pressure. So that just gives you a um, kind of a simple overview of what the inside of this boost uh, wastegate looks like and what its function is. Some of you watching this already know that Mercedes Horse probably offers the best uh, T3 turbo overhaul kits on the market for you to do this yourself, to really overhaul your turbo on your own older Mercedes diesel. Uh, but you may not know that we can also help you with some wastegate issues, okay? And adjusting the weight, wastegate is really important, particularly after a, a turbo overhaul. You know, you may increase the boost pressure because somebody may have adjusted it while the turbo was worn out and now you've got a turbo that's really putting out and you might be creating too much boost into the engine. So uh, the way you do this, we have a complete kit. It has a pressure gauge that you hook up to the intake manifold. You drive the car, you test, you test the pressure. And you can actually put the gauge in the car while you're driving and watch what the boost is when you accelerate to certain speed. And uh, the instructions that come with that little test kit also uh, tell you how to get inside, get inside this wastegate and adjust it. It is adjustable and you, you know, sometimes you'll have to adjust it once and drive it again and oh no, I, I adjusted it too much and then you'll have to go back and maybe adjust it a couple times. It, it's not particularly easy to adjust it because it, you know, it's kind of mounted underneath the, uh, 
the, the turbo, and sometimes it's easier to get to it from underneath the car. But it's something you have to do. You, you really need to do this after you overhaul your, your Garrett T3 turbo. Also, I have uh, on my website, I have an on-demand video which will take you through a step-by-step -step instructional uh, process of removing this from um, the turbo. Removing the entire, we'll go into it, show you all the guts, all the individual parts on the wastegate, and kind of show you how to inspect for where, what parts you may need to replace, and what you need to be looking for if you're having problems and you can't seem to get that boost adjusted properly, it's probably something wrong here in the wastegate. So also keep in mind if you need, if you need uh, wastegate diaphragms or wastegate assemblies or turbine housings, uh, we also have these available on our website as well.